Hi, Dad. How are you today? Hey, Jordana. Good to see everybody today. It's a beautiful spring day. It's going to be 70 degrees to 80 degrees. The sun's out. The fruit trees are blooming. The bushes are full of wonderful foliage. And we saw a wonderful Hallmark last night. We did. I, I actually really liked this Hallmark movie. And we are in Spring Into Love. This was something different for them to well, see. Well, it not only had love, but it had mystery. Right. And it was very current with today's uh, looking for antiques in our basements, in our attics. I, that's what I loved about it. It was something different, though. We, Hallmark hasn't thrown one of these to us on a, on a Saturday night. We related very well to this uh, with the antiques and the history of antiques. And the fact is that they're becoming more popular than ever. And everybody is looking in their basements or their attics for things that their kids collected 50, 60 years ago. It is. It's popular for kids today or anybody to reuse and recycle things and to well, not necessarily buy That's what buy Hallmark them. did for us yesterday. They sort of rejuvenated Antique Roadshow. And that's what it was. They were calling it, which this was, yes. this was a great film. It was called Legends of the Lost Locket. Yes. Which I loved how they oh. brought a little bit of an old and new into this. It was beautiful. And um, again, uh, the uh, actors and actor, actresses were exceptionally good. They fit their parts beautifully. And again, we got to see Hallmark's Canadian Vancouver Movie Studio present such a wonderful film. Uh, yes, I agree. Um, our actors, though, this time, Dad, I know you always love to, to talk about the Canadian actors that they bring us, but the main actress, Natasha Burnett, who played Amelia, her accent was spot on. And why was well, that? Well, because she grew up in um, Great Britain and in Ireland. Yeah. And she then came to Canada uh, to uh, follow her. Uh, her desire to be an actress, and her accent was beautiful, and it was real. Right, and that's what I loved, because we were listening to her, like, God, she really is good at this accent, and when we looked her up, she was UK-born, yes. and um, she actually, a lot of our fans probably will recognize her from Wind Calls the Heart, which yes. a lot of the Hallmark movies lately are featuring the Wind the Calls the Heart um, crew. So, it's a series. It's been there for six, seven years. 11 series. 11, 11 years, seasons. Yes. It's go, it started, just premiered last week, so it's pretty amazing. And both our two main characters, um, Marcus and Amelia, came from that. Yes, and that... Uh, was a wonderful presentation last night. And remember, they didn't have any competition last night from basketball. No, and so, uh, not at all. And yes. This was a great one. Tell me, Dad, what do you rate this one on our scale? Well, it was a wonderful uh, movie to watch. Uh, it was sort of realistic. Uh, people in the antique business have been searching for antiquities uh, that go back hundreds of years. Uh, our homes are full of uh, old uh, things that were passed down from one uh, parent to the next son to the next daughter. And everybody enjoys a story about antiques and a story that brought in love. Yeah, and, and this was about this locket, this lost locket, if you find it, or if you put it together, right? It, it brings like, eternal love. Yeah, true love. And so true love. Yeah. That wasn't, it also had a little more meaning, as Hallmark always does, because it was really about her connection with her mother who had passed. Yes. So yeah. I loved how they brought all that together. She traveled from the United Kingdom over to America. Yes, Boston. To Boston. Yes following this um, storyline of the founder of the small town that kind of was flourishing and yes. now having um, financial problems. Well, we all know the story of the pilgrims and uh, of the descendants of the Mayflower. And they live in the United States. And we talk about how they came from Great Britain, uh, searching for freedom. The same thing with this a young man who had the locket and his 
uh, wonderful love interest followed him to Massachusetts colony and how he farmed this small town in Massachusetts. And we could follow that, but it brought in a uh, mystery of where the locket was. And it also brought in and featured the American Antique Roadshow. Yes, I love that. And it showed that the lead actress conducted a road show in a small uh, little cafe in this town and people brought in all of the things they had in their basements or in their attics. And with great they, value though. I mean, things yes. that you wouldn't even know existed, but they had and they acquired for and, years and years. And all our viewers have things of great value in their basements that have been collected over the years, passed down from generation to generation, or even things like the Smurfs or McDonald toys that suddenly their kids collected 50 years ago that are very valuable. So yes. if this doesn't spark interest to watch this movie, this Legends of the Lost Locket, you should, but also go yes. check out what's in your basement. Yes, <laughs> and put it on eBay. <laughs> or uh, or Hoshmark, Hikari, yes. Hoshmark, or any of those All sites. Those. <laughs> and the Hallmark brought this wonderful story to us. And uh, we're very uh, grateful that we were able to see and enjoy Last night's Hallmark. Yeah, this was a great one. We know it was so good because mom yeah. stayed awake the whole time. The whole time, absolutely. <laughs> and we all stayed awake because it was such a wonderful uh, film. Don't forget, tomorrow night, though, is the Women's NBA Draft. And there are some wonderful women who are uh, to be drafted. Uh, besides Caitlin Clark, there are wonderful, wonderful women and you will enjoy watching it on ESPN. But what's on for next week? Well, next week, continuing in the spring, um, spring into love is gonna be a good one, I think. This is Falling in Love in Niagara. And they oh. did sneak peek it, and it looks fantastic. Niagara Falls. We were there. <laughs> yes, we got rained upon, and the water splashed on us, and it was just a wonderful experience. And I think we yes. saw, Dad, that Caitlin Clark was on Saturday Night Live last night, too. Yes, Caitlin was on. Uh, uh, and uh, So we need to watch that. So yes. we, we had seen that with Sneak Peek, too. So there, there she made an appearance there and will be in the draft. So that's Oh, exciting. it's going to be a wonderful week. And, uh, you know, the uh, earth and the world is in turmoil. Yeah. And at least... Uh, we have Hallmark to look forward to to help relieve some of the tensions. So until then, next week, have a wonderful week. Enjoy at least springtime. Hopefully everybody will be healthy and well and take care of yourself and take care of your loved ones. See everybody later. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye.